Norway. The COVID-19 outbreak has had a huge impact on the Norwegian economy, working life and, not least, the education sector. The pandemic has completely changed the everyday lives of teachers and students. Two weeks after the first case was confirmed in 26 February, the Prime Minister announced the strictest and most invasive measures introduced in Norway in peacetime. Schools and kindergartens uh, were closed, uh, quarantines introduced, and most restaurants and bars had to close until further notice. On 12 March, the Norwegian Directorate of Health decided to close all education institutions at all levels. Uh, on 21 March, uh, Parliament, starting unanimously voted in favor of a temporary coronavirus act to mitigate the consequences of the pandemic. Temporary regulations concern legislative adaptations at all levels of education and training uh, in refuge reception centers. Uh, the teaching and learning process are inform informing learners about hygiene and safety in the pandemic situation uh, and availability of online resources, use of existing platform or developing new ones digital change and preparedness many different many different communication systems learning platforms and digital resources are available within the education system Uruguay Uruguay was already very well prepared for online teaching, says Di Gropelo, who is an economist specializing in education. The South American country dedicated many years to guaranteeing connectivity and access to digital tools for the educational community. Even with sufficient support for the use, he adds. For more than a decade, Uruguay has implemented Plan Seibal. A government initiative um, famous for being a pioneer of, uh, in the delivery of a laptop to each student in public schools. But since the other educational innovations have been developed, such as the CREA platform, a kind of social network uh, where each teacher can upload materials, send and read the assignments, and dialogue with their students. Other initiatives include the Gamefield Mathematics Platform Matific and Biblioteca País. With more than 700 uh, recreational books and study materials in text, audio and image formats. These and other technological educational resources are now available uh, for all devices. Uh, divided according to whatever they are aimed teachers, students or families, uh, whether they are public or private centers. The story of the Australian cruise ship with coronavirus rejected by several countries and the humanitarian corridor it found in Uruguay in fact the World Bank highlight uh, in, in its country by country monitoring uh, of the educational response to COVID-19. Uh, that from the Seval Plan uh, families are encouraged to accompany their children to use, to use it during the suspension of classes. In this regard, the Gropelo thinks the current, the current crisis 
is showing us how important families are who have been kind uh, to play a supportive role in learning. Hopefully, uh, when this happens, education system will remember this and can continue to develop measures to involve families more in learning process and that they can continue to develop measures to support uh, the most vulnerable household. He added. The comparison of these two forms of affront COVID-19 in the education sector was, well, in Uruguay uh, was already very well prepared for something like this, uh, for the Saber Plan. Uh, the government acts very quickly in take measures in the pandemic situation. I think government of Uruguay was very smart than the other South American governments. And in Norway, something more of the same, but in, in Europe. In U Europe. Uh, the Prime Minister takes very strict measures uh, to affront the COVID-19 in the education sector. Uh, the schools and the Parliament had in accurate and take the better solution for every student and to not lose so much time. 